I want to encourage you to pray. Those of you, please immerse yourself and pray. This prayer complex, I want to assure you, God wants to do something in somebody's life tonight. If you Amen. can pray, silently in the battles of life. If only you can pray, God will silence every battle in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says, listen to this promise, because every scripture, every prayer point, I'm going to back them up with the scriptures. And if we pray according to the word of the Lord, I want to tell you the word of God stands. When you hold on to God's promises, it will surely come to pass. The Bible says, and the Lord shall fight for you. And ye shall Amen. hold your peace. Amen. Amen. When the Israel came out from Egypt, the Egyptians were pursuing after them. They don't mm. want them to go. They want to bring them back to captivity. And Moses say, the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. You are going to pray tonight. Amen. Let the angel of God fight your battle. Let the angel of God fight every advantage, every advantage every advantage contending with your family, every power contending with your finances, every power contending with your head. You are going to go fight for me. The angel of God fight for me. The Lord shall fight for you. Every in Jesus name we pray my dear brothers and sisters when Jesus was born the wise men with the word of announcement they announced to Aaron a king has been born Aaron was mm. troubled when he had a king was born, he called the wise men to go and search, and they should bring word back for him that he was to go and greet the other child. And when the angel of God appeared to those wise men, he said, Return not back to Aaron, for Aaron's mm -hmm. seek to kill the child. Aaron mm -hmm. was a destiny killer. He was mm -hmm. killed.
Lord, everlasting Father, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, we want them power by fire Bring down Amen. 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 Can you hear me? In Jesus' name, yes. we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray once and again. Aaron was a destiny killer. He want to kill the destiny of Jesus. He failed. You are going to pray that God Almighty will deliver you from destiny killer. Every Amen. destiny killer aside to kill your destiny. You are going to pray, oh God, deliver me. Oh God, Amen. deliver me from the hand of the spiritual error. Oh God, deliver me from the hand of the spiritual error. Oh God, I should not fall upon the law. Oh God, that you need violence by the hand of the spiritual error. The Bible says, for those of you that are praying, the Lord is working in your life. There's a Amen. testimony after this prayer in your life. Trust Amen. me. Trust me, you will see what God will do. Keep praying. Amen. The Bible says, Amen. the adversary of the Lord shall be broken to pieces out yes. of heaven and he thunder upon them. You are going to pray, thunder of God, scatter every satanic you you have, you know, Elisha was a prophet. And when the king of Assyria applied to kill the uh, trying to take over and the 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 uh, help Elisha will go and tell the king, beware for such as such the Assyrians mm. has come down. And the mm. king of Assyria said, Who will tell me? Who normally review everything we plan to Elijah? And one of the servants say, I know him, his name is Elisha. I have been monitoring him. 
and they came by night to carry Elisha. Fire surround Elisha. Mm -hmm. But they gave that information through one of their servants. That's the key. They gave the information through one of their servants. You are going to pray. Every monitoring gadgets, yes. every monitoring spirit, the enemy is going to monitor your progress. They go yes. scatter those gadgets. Fire, <laughs> They sacked the young, the brother. As he came back home, he was very sad, he was not happy. All of a sudden, the wife, the, the, the phone of this man rang, ring. He picked up the phone and the news he got that the machine, the wife is working with in the factory. That machine have caught two finger of the hand of the wife. The man oh, lost the job that very day. The wife in a place of work, the machine in the factory called two of, of the finger of the wife. What oh, wow. a part. And then the man began, what will I do? They sack into the place of work, the wife again, look what happened, what happened to her. And then the man resolved to pray. 
As a man, we got to pray again. Midnight prayer, midnight. The pastor told me that it was around 1 a.m. This brother started praying. He was praying, oh God, every battle in my life, oh God, all the, all the challenges of the past of darkness attacking me, attacking my family, oh God, bring an end. Oh, he was all praying all kinds of prayer. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, I all to the testimony that is I a particular demonic light just sight into the house. It all so uh, it it it, it all to, to what we call uh, Oloko, all this um, animal in the room. I said, What? Mm. And they began the, the pussycat began to speak up. The pussycat began to speak. He said, Don't kill me, don't kill me. The man said, Who are you? Speak out. What do you want? speak out mm. in the name of Jesus? He said, Don't kill me. The man pushed out the the pussycat head, he pussa it and he killed that pussycat. Mm -hmm. The woman that was responsible, that is how he confessed the next morning and he died. Mm -hmm. Powers and evil, demonic activity working every day. Pastor Yomi shared with us about last month. A couple was about to get married. The couple died. The wife, the, 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 the wife, the wife, the uh, father to be also died. Can you imagine? A week before the wedding, those are demonic activity. Mm -hmm. And the human died, the father to be also died. Powers, mm -hmm. demonic, demonic powers. You are going to pray. Every arrow of death aside against you and your family, in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus, let it backfire to go back mm -hmm. where you come from. Every evil assignment to me, my Amen. I have two more prayer requests, two more, two more prayer. If you pray this prayer now very hard, there is no need to call the last prayer point. But if you pray it very well, we will round up. This two more prayer point, if you pray this prayer very well, I'm telling you, you will become a victor. The Bible Amen. says, the thief comes not to steal, to kill, to destroy. Whatever they have carried out of your life, whatever they have seen out of your family, whatever they have taken out of your life, you are going to pray, oh God, restore part every, every program, everything every they have every have carried out of my life. Listen to me, let's pray for one of our beloved sisters that is very strong. Let's pray and let's use her as a point of contact and pray for everyone that is that need healing and deliverance in this platform right now. Let's pray God we heal them. Those who are sick in our midst, let's ask God to heal them and deliver them. The power of God to bring 
healing and deliverance upon their life. Pray for them now. Those who are sick in their body, God should cause them every infirmity, every sickness. God should take it away. God should heal them. so pray for me that God should send a helper who will give me two children scholarship through their education. We are going to pray for this person who needs scholarship for his children. Let's pray God will give them scholarship for those two children. Open your mouth and pray for divine helper to connect them. Open your mouth and pray for them. Jesus, we are thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank my you, Lord. Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my we are saying, we are saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Everlasting Father, the God of all battle. The horse is prepared against the day of battle mm. for safety of the Lord. You are the God of power. You are mm. the God that told Moses, Fear no, for the Egyptian who you see today, you shall see there no more. For the no. Lord God will fight for you, you shall hold your peace. Your yes. people have cried to you against the battle of their life. Every yes. battle challenging your people tonight, I pray you will deliver them, you will fight their battle for them, give them victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyone that is sick in the body, you sickness, I command you in the name of Jesus, come out in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Anyone in the platform that need help, heavenly help, divine help, I am praying, I am asking, let divine help locate them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Those who are looking for husband, good husband, godly husband to marry, those who are looking for good wife, godly wife to marry, I pray for them. Father, connect them right now and bring them together in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Every pain in your body, that woman over there, that brother over there, pain in your waist, pain in your ankle, pain in your joints, pain in your migrate headache, whatever may be that pain, you pain, I command you in the name of Jesus, come out, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For those of you who need promotion in your place of thought, I release the open door for you right now. God Amen. shall promote you. God shall Amen. provide for you. All Amen. your needs, spiritual needs, physical needs, material needs, financial needs, I pray heaven open, receive your miracle tonight and come and share testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answer. From Lord. tonight, as your people wake up tomorrow, let miracle signs and wonders and signs and miracle begin to manifest upon the life of your people. Thank you, Amen. Father. In Thank Jesus' you, name, I pray. Amen. Amen.
Thank you, Pastor Matthew. Please over to you, sir. Praise the Lord. Uh, we are in the church of open check now. I see one brother or sister, I don't know if in car you go court 1080, something like that. If the brother or the sister is hearing me, please, we want you to present your prayer request so that the brethren can pray for you. Uh, we in this platform, we totally believe that there's nothing God cannot do. Uh, God has been so merciful for us, and we are expecting the testimony of everybody by December. I hope you have been listening, I mean, listing them on your, on whatsoever, to share your testimony. And your own will not be an exception in years of it. So if the brother or the sister is around, hearing me, please unmount yourself. The the idea is IU. The name is Inka Ukot or Inka U whatsoever. One O T. Are you hearing me, sir? Uh, okay. Uh, the brother cannot. If I can't say, then there's another new. Uh, name I, I'm saying the person is in Venice. If I call it correct, or 12. If the person is hearing me, please promote yourself. We want you to record every to to tell us of your prayer request, and then the brethren are ready to pray for you. And I believe by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. As we are aiming, dream, not even dreaming, we are aiming for total testimony in December. It will be part of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, so, because what we think is not possible, God is going to do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, I can't see the, uh, yes, the Inkawa you call. Sorry for how I'm pronouncing it. You are promoted. Please, kindly present your prayer request. So that will be the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor Mike, please listen very well. Please can you able to speak loud and uh, louder, sir. Pastor Mike, please listen very well. And I will live for his glory in Jesus' name. We don't understand. Okay. We don't Praise hear what you said. Yes, I say my request that the Lord visit my family and my ministry, and I will give it to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We want the our Father want God to visit His family and the ministry, and I do it in this way. The God should visit the ministry and family. And I, the Bible tells us that seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all mm. other things shall be mm. added unto you. Pastor mm. Mike, I'll over to you, and by then, Pastor Ali will round up for us to bless our Father and bless everyone of us in this of mm. Pastor Mike, over to you. Go visit the family, the, the ministry, mm. and his family. Over to you, sir. Pastor Mike, please unmute yourself. What time is going? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for our brother. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible tells us the scripture of truth. It said, if two of you shall agree on anything, it shall be done of you of my father. We want to pray that God Almighty will visit him and God will visit his ministry and God will so help him that whatever he lays and to do will prosper. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's pray for him. Jesus, let's pray that the hand of the Lord will be upon him. The power of the Lord will overshadow his life. Let's pray that in his ministry, in every area of his ministry, he will prosper, he will succeed in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that the power of the Holy Ghost will overshadow his life. Let's pray that God will help him by the grace of the Lord. He will live in holiness, he will live in righteousness. 
he will fulfill his ministry. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Because of our time, over to you, Pastor Ali. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Heavenly Father, what a mighty God you are. We bless your name. Amen. We thank you for everything you have accomplished upon your people tonight. Amen. You be the glory. Amen. So we be the blessing. Amen. Thank you Amen. for the request of this our beloved brother. That's a way the divine visitation from my bowl. Amen. And I use that prayer point as a, as a prayer contact to everyone as well, that everyone will be lifted up higher. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Amen. For everyone that have partake for tonight prayer meeting, I pray once again for you from this night, you will begin to experience new change, new development, new open door, new progress, a new breakthrough, new peace, new upliftment in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For every sacrifice you have put together to participate in this prayer tonight, the God that visited Jabez, that enlarged Jabez, that lift up the head of Jabez. I pray tonight, may that same God lift up the head of every one of you on this prayer online tonight. And because you join us in prayer, I pray the anointing from above from this day we began to walk in your life more than never before in Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, once and again, I ask this prayer request from you. This prayer platform will not die. Amen. Every enemy of this prayer platform that wanted to kill this prayer platform, every enemy aside from anywhere, aside from the pit of hell, I command those enemy, let them depart and frustrate all their effort Amen. and eradicate them away from our knees in Jesus' name. Amen. For those of us who are supposed to be online, we are not online. We pray that the same blessing you have blessed us tonight, let that blessing reach out to every one of them as well. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for the manifestation. Thank you for the power. Thank you for the upliftment. Thank you for the breakthrough. Thank you for your goodness. We appreciate everything you have done. So you be the glory. So we be the blessing. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. There's an announcement that uh, came to me recently that there would be minister uh conference on saturday uh but i'm telling that our leader that they should let all the leader agree if we are going to cancel it because like us in united states we are, don't think we have that meeting and they don't go to the leaders too to the extent that we will not have the meeting do not forget that whatever the headquarters says supersede whatever we want to do here but i just want to pray because many people are saying because of GCK, because of all this kind of meeting, we are missing a lot of prayer uh, meeting. But if all the leaders agree, we have to cancel Saturday uh, prayer meeting, then we meet on Sunday. Whatsoever, please just be looking uh, out for the publicity on Facebook, on WhatsApp, and all other area we have been communicating with you. God will help us in Jesus' name. So Pastor Ali, Pastor Mike, Pastor Dakbo, Pastor Peter, all of us who are uh, leaders. Yes, sir. Uh, Pastor, Pastor uh, Matthew, yes, I think the minister's conference, if the brother in charge on Saturday can volunteer himself, because so, this prayer online is not only different life, it's, it's a worldwide program. People mm -hmm. from other ministries also come in. You understand? That one hour prayer cannot hinder it. Uh, there was a day that I was in Bagada. We're having a meeting at Bagada. I went upstairs to go and need the prayer. 
I left mm-hmm. them from the auditorium. I went upstairs to where I need a prayer in Bagada. And we have a meeting at that day in Bagada for GM Saturday pastors leadership meeting. I still went up to where I need. So it depends on the commitment and the vision we receive. If the brother in charge can sacrifice that one hour and during that period of time, excuse himself and go and spend some time to pray with the people online and come back, it's still okay. These are yes. souls. These are programs that cover the whole, not to let deeper life, outside deeper life everywhere. Every That's my suggestion. Okay. Pastor Mike, I believe you are hearing us. As far as your program, God will help you in Jesus' name. So please connect mm-hmm. with Pastor Dako. Whatever you agree, we are your uh we are your follower. <laughs> so <laughs> we will follow you, sir. The joy of the Lord will continue to be your strength. So let us Amen. have your decision before Saturday, Pastor Mike. The joy of the Lord yes, is your Yes, sir. Sir, can I say something, sir? Okay, sir. Um, no, there are people online, so we will not be wasting their time. And this is just okay, the, no, let's, the, uh, let's every, conclude. Everybody that let's wants conclude. to <laughs> we believe so we can go. So please. Let's conclude. Yes. Wants, okay. Well, you can continue. Anybody that wants to leave can leave. If you oh, have okay. any question, okay. Thank you. God bless you, everyone. The God 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 God. You will not do it in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. So, Pastor Mark, you can continue. Okay, my 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 take on that matter is this. Uh, whenever we have programs like that from the headquarters, mm. uh, I want to plead so that all of us who are ministers can be part of that program and concentrate on the program and get the best from God to give to others. I want to plead that on such occasions, let's um, cancel our online prayer for that day. We can still have the prayer at other times so that we can give our best to God. So that will not be of um, diverted attention. We are here, we are there. It will not help even the ministers who are supposed to listen to the word of God and bring in the message into their heart, into their life. So I feel that if a decision is coming from the headquarters, that we should have ministers should gather together. Um, let's for that day, for that time, let's um, suspend the meeting so that we can concentrate and wait upon God for us to be refreshed. It is when we are blessed at the ministers and conference that God has empowered us, filled us. We can now come back and feed the people. I think that would be best for us, for our own spiritual life. That's my take, sir. The, to me, I'm, I'm, as I always said, I'm okay with any decision the any departmental head takes. And then I know you and Pastor Ali, we, we will still discuss about it. And then uh, you will just say, we, we are following you. We are your follower. We are ready. Whatever you say is our will. And we are ready to oblige. So just okay. discuss, Pastor Dako. I am okay, totally sir. with whatever you, you say. Just let me okay. know. So that okay, I, your servant, I will carry all the publicity. And then you can help me. So that's it's okay, what I It's yes. okay, sir. God bless you, you, sir. We will not Amen. be in Spain, Jesus' name. I've been Amen. telling many among us that uh we are thinking that for now we don't need anything we every one of us needs something every one of us needs something i thank god when i'm speaking to my mom pastor my mom uh came out zero to the way she always speaks with me uh god will continue to bless every one of us in jesus name but if, you, if there's nothing you need we are requesting for online one thing I want you to know, you are keeping a lot of us on holiness, holiness way. Because if you are not there praying with us, uh, 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 empty, uh, what do they normally say? Uh, empty hand or what do they say? It's even workshop. So for you to even be with us online every time, you are helping us in that journey. And I pray by the power and the blood of your time you are using to make sure that every one of us make it to the kingdom of God. Not just all this worldly request only to make it to everyone to be uh, uh, supporting us to the journey. I mean, the journey. 
God Almighty God will not leave you alone in Jesus' name. You will not miss us in the name of God. We will not miss you in the name of Jesus Christ. So I Amen. really appreciate every one of us for the hour you are living, not because of any request, because we have a dream, we have an aim, which is heaven. And no one among us is going to miss it in Jesus' name. Let's Amen. share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, may the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And then thank God the people from Taraba that they were kidnapped. I saw many people send message to me. Have they been released? They have been released. And you will see it on our platform that they have been released. God bless you all. Thank you for your prayer. The joy of the Lord will continue to be your strength in this Thank Amen. you. Amen. Thank you, sir. Good night, everyone. Please. God, we inspire our prayers, we inspire and give us all trances, even as we pray tonight in Jesus' name. Father, we are Amen. asking our God that you will conquer every weakness and every tiredness out of every life, even tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray for all our pastors, all our sisters who are supposed to be online and they are not yet there. Holy Spirit, divine, we pray that we help them so that every one of us, our spirit will be lifted up and then by your grace will be connected, oh God, even online for this prayer meeting in Jesus' name. Amen. Open heaven unto us and release your blessings upon our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I'm reading from Psalm 103, Psalm 103 in our Bible, Psalm 103. Verse 1 says, He said, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Why do we need to bless God? We need to bless God because number one is our creator, is our God, is our is the almighty God, is the one that has the power to do all things, is the one that said, Let us make man in our own image. Don't forget what the scripture says. He said he has the power to kill and to make alive. Look at many of us by God's grace, God has been, has been sustaining us despite all the challenges of life. And uh, look at what he said. He said, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. David was telling himself, was telling so he said, My soul, you cannot just remain like that. You have to bless God. Then he said, And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Remember, the name of God is holy, and that is why we are blessing his name. In verse 2, he said, bless the Lord, oh, my soul. He still emphasizes it once again. He wants his soul to constantly bless God. He wants his spirit to constantly praise God. He wants everything that is inside of him to praise God. Then he said, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Think about all the benefits that God of heaven has done in your life, in my life. Is it the benefit of salvation? The Bible says that while we are yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. He died to redeem us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That's why he gave unto us Jesus Christ. Remember that if Jesus Christ had not died, all our hope, all our aspiration, Everything will just amount to zero. That means the whole of human race, we are destined for air fire. But thanks be to God. The Bible says, thanks be to God, which giveth us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Look at the victory that he gave to us on the cross at Calvary. Look at all that he has done in your life, in my life. 
And that's why we have to praise him. He said, forget not all his benefits. Benefit of redemption. Benefit of transformation of heart and life. Benefit of cleansing. Benefit of origin. Benefit of, you know, working of revival. Benefit of all that God of heaven has done in your life, in my life. Is he talking about healing? Is he talking about deliverances? Is he talking about God's divine provisions unto us and our family members? That's why we want to bless God at this time. That's why we want to join us together. In verse 4, he said, Who redeemed our lives? Who redeemed thy life from destruction? So many things that the enemy planned against us, wanting to send arrows here and there, either from the village, from the paternal side, from the maternal side, from the sea, from the ocean, from anywhere. But God has been the one that has been fighting our battle for us. He has been the one defending us on every side. He wouldn't allow the enemy, the agent of darkness, those evil personalities, to do us any harm. That's why we have every call to say, God, thank you. He said, who redeemed our life from destruction? Remember when time in and time we travel like that, and God preserved our life from all the dangers on the way. He preserved us when we are sleeping, when we are awake, when we are moving from one place to another. He will not allow the arrows of the enemy to get us down. He said, who redeemed thy life from destruction? Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? And look at verse 5 now. He said, who satisfied thy mouth? He who satisfied our mouth with good things, so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. This night, we want to praise God. This night, we want to appreciate God. I've just gone through some of these verses of the scripture in Psalm 103 to us, and that's why we are going to bless God. Bless brethren, I want to encourage you. <coughs> and you also encourage yourself in the Lord. Encourage your spirit, your soul to praise God. We want to lift up our voices at this time. We want to begin to appreciate God, the God that preserved your life, the God that preserved my soul. Please open your mouth and give all the glory unto God of heaven tonight. Let's thank him because of whom he is. Remember that he's the agent of days. He's the great I am that I am. He's the all-sufficient God. He's the all-powerful God. He's the one that cares for you. He cares for me. He watches over us in the day, in the night, when we are sleeping, when we are on the way, when we are awake, when we are doing one thing or the other. Why don't you open your mouth and begin to appreciate God tonight? He watches over our family members. Is he talking about our wives, talking about our children, talking about our husbands? talking about everything that pertains to us. Open your mouth and give him all the glory tonight. I want to hear your voice, brethren. I want to hear our voices. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God. Let's lift up our voices unto the King of Kings. Almighty God, everlasting Father. Lord, I praise your name this night, O oh God. Almighty God, immortal God, everlasting Father, Lord, we reference you. God, we adore you. God, we honor you. God, we magnify you. Thank you once again, my Father God, the God that never, never fails, the God that redeems our life from every form of destruction. Oh God, our Father and our God, thank you once again because of the salvation of our soul. You gave unto us your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us on the cross at Calvary and to redeem us and to purge us with his own blood and to cleanse us and to transform our lives. And so God of heaven, we are here tonight to appreciate you, to celebrate you, to worship you, to adore you, to magnify you, to give you all the glory, my Father, once again, oh Lord, Lord, accept all our praises tonight, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I want us, I want to encourage us, please. Let's speak out, let's unmute ourselves so that we can go along, please. Those of us who are still who uh, who, uh, who still mute ourselves, please let's unmute ourselves. I want uh, Sister Queen, please unmute yourself. 
so that we can hear ourselves because there must be communication. So I want us to unmute ourselves. Akin me, please unmute yourself so that we can all pray together. Unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done unto the Lord be the glory. Great things he has done. Great he has done greater things he will do unto the Lord be the glory great things he has done unto Jesus be the glory great things he has done unto the Lord be the glory great things he has done Great things he has done, greater things he will do unto the Lord. Be the glory, great things he has done. He has promised he will never fail. I will lean on him, I will follow him. Oh, yes. He has promised he will never fail. His faithfulness is forevermore. His faithfulness is forevermore. We want to open our mouth to appreciate God again. We want to thank God once again for all our pastors on this prayer platform. On uh, Thursdays, we are always here. On Saturday, we are here. On Sunday, we are here. On Monday morning, the same thing. We want to thank God for the way God has been helping everyone, all our brothers, all our pastors, all our sisters. Let's begin to appreciate God. Despite all our busy schedule, the grace of God has always been helping us to run the race. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God. Open your mouth and begin to honor God. Open your mouth and begin to bless God and say, Father, thank you once again, O Lord. Almighty God, immortal God, my Father, once again, O Lord. My God and my Father, God, Lord, I praise you. Almighty God, everlasting Father, God, thank you because of your numerous and uncountable blessings, O God, unto every one of our lives, O God, unto the young, unto the old, unto the men, unto the women. Look at all our pastors. Look at the way you have been refreshing them. Look at all our pastors. Look at the way you have been upholding them. Look at all our sisters and brothers on this platform. Your grace has been sufficient unto everyone. And God of heaven, you have proved yourself so greatly in every one of our lives. Every day and every time, oh Lord, almighty God, we rejoice in you this morning, this night, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the demonstration of your power. Thank you for the demonstration of your spirit. Thank you for the demonstration of your anointing, O oh God. Almighty God, everlasting Father, Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we pray to us again, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. We want to pray at this time once again, brothers and sisters, because... It's a time for us to renew our strength. Remember what the word of God says. Let me quickly read it to us. In Isaiah chapter 40, Isaiah chapter 41, rather, the book of Isaiah chapter, sorry, chapter 40, he said in verse 29, let me read from verse 28. He said, as thou not know, don't you know, that don't be dull. Don't be dull of hearing. He said, has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. In verse 29, he said, he gave power, power to the faint. 
He giveth power to the faith, and to them that have no might, increase their strength. This night we want to pray. We want to call upon the name of the Lord for all our pastors, for all our brothers and sisters on this platform, those who are getting tired, those who are getting weary. We want to pray that the Spirit of God will lead them up again. The Lord Almighty will strengthen and empower them. Shall we open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord at this time? Every faintness the Lord will take away. Every weariness the Lord will take away. Every coldness the Lord will take away. Please open your mouth and call upon the Lord at this time. Let's ask God and say, Father, once again, O oh Lord, take away every weariness from every life tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, life will come upon everyone again. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father, all our brothers, all our sisters, every individual member, oh God, Almighty God, I'm asking my Father, God, take away all the weariness, all the tiredness out of every soul. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father once again, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, immortal God, I'm asking my Father that the strength of the Lord, the power of God, will begin to work mightily once again upon everyone. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, the power to tarry in your presence, the power to seek the face of God, release that upon everyone tonight, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the grace of God begin to multiply upon our lives, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We want to pray once again tonight, because he said, even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, they that wait upon the Lord, and that is what we are doing now. We are waiting upon the Lord through prayer. He said, but they that wait, wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength, and they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. We want to pray to God tonight that God will help one, all of us all together, that the grace of God to wait upon him. The, the strength to tarry in the presence of God. The Lord will grant unto you and to me. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight. Let's open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. The Lord will help every one of us all together tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God Amen. and my Father God. Lord, I look unto you, God. Lord, the strength and the grace to wait upon you, my Father God. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father God, release that grace upon our lives, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your word says, but they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. God, I'm asking my Father God that tonight, you will renew our strength, O oh God. Our strength of prayer, our strength of intercession, our strength of supplication, our strength in evangelism, our strength, oh God, in the study of the word of God. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father, begin to renew our strength, oh Lord. In what? the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that the mighty hand of God be so well, will be working mightily upon every one of us tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God, everlasting Father, Lord, that will do something new in our life, in our soul, oh God. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Pray. Amen. We want to pray at this time. We want to lift up this ticket into your heart, to the heart of God. That's Global Crusade with Kumui. is coming once again by next week. And that is when we're going to have it. That is from Thursday next week. And it will run through all through to Upper Tuesday. We want to lift up the convener. We want to lift up our Father in the Lord. We want to ask God and say, God, oh Lord, every tiredness. In this man, he has been running the race. When he's, when he's not feeling fine, you see him running. When he's sick, he'll be running. 
when he uh, uh, having one challenge or the other, you will see him. He's always looking unto Jesus. We want to pray for him. We want to ask God and say, God, oh Lord, for our Father in the Lord, the general superintendent, Pastor, we have come here, oh God. Mighty God, begin to renew his strength, oh God. Shall we open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight? That God in his power will renew the strength of his, uh, of his servant tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please open your mouth and pray. Unmute yourself and let's call upon the name of the Lord tonight. I want to hear us pray, my brothers and sisters. I want to hear all the pastors praying. Please open your mouth and pray. It's not a silent prayer. This one is a prayer of agreement. We are seeking the face of God, that the Lord will strengthen our Father in the Lord. The Lord will energize in the grace of God, the power of God, will be resident so mightily upon his life. The Lord will multiply the anointing in a hundredfold upon the life of the servant of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, I'm asking my Father once again, O oh Lord, God of heaven, I beseech you. Almighty God, I'm asking my God, Lord, we lift up your servant, our Father in the Lord, the general superintendent of the Impact Christian Life Ministry. Almighty God, I'm asking, O oh Lord, that to renew his strength, to oh God, oh, you renew him, O oh God, my Father, God, every tiredness and every weariness, O oh God, my Father, you will take away from him, O oh God. Strengthen your servant, O oh God. Empower in the more. Let signs and wonders begin to follow his ministry everywhere, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I'm asking my Father God, manifest your glory through him, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, lay your hand upon your servant, O oh God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 The program GCK is moving to Oshobo. Last month it was in Obomosho, and this time around we are moving to Oshobo. In fact, I want to tell you that as I'm talking to you right now, I'm in Bini City, in Edo City here now, and they are also preparing for their own. I think their own is coming up. Uh, this, this is uh, August. Uh, they are only coming up in uh, either is it September or October, and they are preparing seriously. We want to we hand, want to hand over the program GCK coming up in uh, Oshobo in Osho State into the hand of God. Now there is one peculiarity about that environment. I want to understand what is what is happening there. Many people because of this Osho River, many of them. They are so, you know, idolatrous and uh, they believe so much in all those kind of evil things. Virtually every family, virtually every individual. We want to pray to God that as the light of God is coming, coming to Oshobo, that the capital city, people will see the light of God. And they'll be delivered. Those who have been bound by the shame of idolatry. Those who have been bound by the shame of witchcraft. Those who have been bound by the shame of, of the devil. The mighty hand of God begin to liberate them. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the mind. Let's open our mouth and pray. See the pray. And say, God of God, say, God, Lord. The sense of this program is for stay in their large number. Many are still carrying up and down. They are, they are carrying up and down all the properties of the devil in their lives. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord and say, God, every shame of the idolatry, every shame of witchcraft, every shame, and all those things, all the properties of the devil in the life of the people. Mighty go by your mighty spirit and power. Begin to break every tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that the people will be liberated. People will receive their the deliverance, total deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I'm asking, O oh Lord, break off the shame of the devil. Break off the shame of Satan, O oh God, that the light of God will gain so much that people will see the light of God in that place, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, I'm asking all of you, visit us, O oh God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We want to pray once again. The, um, the venue of that program 
where we are using for the for GCK and the uh, all the instruments God will use, including all the electronic gadgets, all the electrical equipment and everything, all the satellite, everything. We want to pray. The mighty hand of God will be upon all these gadgets in the name of Jesus Christ. None of it will malfunction. We want to pray and say, God of heaven, O oh Lord, prepare the people ready. Mobilize everybody. Mobilize everyone from every home, from every family. Those who are coming with juju, those who are coming with one thing or the other. Holy Ghost, we arrest them unto salvation. Please open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord this night. Let's open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. And say, God of heaven, O oh Lord, reach out so mightily and powerful. Powerfully, oh God, unto the people, my father, once again, oh Lord, those who have been bound by the shame of the devil, those who have been bound by the shame of all these uh, family idols and all those all those kind of shrine of the devil here and there. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father God, let it be a time of deliverance, oh God, in the life of many people, both young and old men and women, boys and girls, educated and uneducated, oh God. Lord, I'm asking that the, that the gospel of Christ will penetrate deep. Oh God, into every nose and crannies. Oh Lord, I'm asking my father once again, oh God, begin to mobilize the people from, from, from far and near, even for this program in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, come down. Almighty God, come down in the fullness of your power. Heavenly Father, God, I'm asking, oh God, oh God let me. Come down, let your anointing come down, let your glory come down. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father God that you begin to destroy the works of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We want to pray for all our pastors on this platform, not only the pastors, I understand that there are also sisters on this platform. But let me read this passage. If you have your Bible there, please, I want you to go along with me as we just briefly read before we pray. Look at Isaiah chapter 45. Isaiah chapter 45. And I want to read from verse 1 here so that we can take it one after the other. Isaiah chapter 45 from verse 1. He said, Thus says the Lord, who is anointed to Cyrus. Then he said, whose right hand I have holding. Now, I, by extension, I want to extend that thing to all our pastors, all our leaders, and all our sisters on this plat platform of prayer. We want to pray and say, God, as we enter this new week, oh God, Holy Father, hold my hand. Hold me by your mighty power that we open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. That God in his supremacy and power, he will hold our hand. He will hold our hand. We will not be weak. You will not be weak. You will not be tired. You will not be weary. No matter the pressure, no matter the challenges, the Lord will be helping us. We will be working stronger and stronger. Open your mouth and pray and say, God, hold my hand, oh God. In this journey, oh God. Ever, my father, Almighty God, I'm asking my father once again, oh Lord, that we hold our hands, oh God, mighty God, I'm asking my father, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, hold our hands, oh God, oh God, thank God, invisible God, hold our hands, Jehovah, almighty God, I'm asking my father once again, oh Lord, that we hold our hands, oh God, in the day, in the night, at all times, in all season, mighty God, I'm asking my father, God, that we hold our hands, oh God, in Jesus Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to pray. He said, look at it again. He said, thus says the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus. Put your name there. Whose right hand I have holding to subdue nations, nations of darkness, nations of forces of hell, nations of the, of the principalities and powers, to subdue nations before us. And he said, and I will lose the noise of kings to open before him the two leaf gates, and the gate shall not be shut. 
We want to, number one, we want to pray that all the nations, all the kingdom of darkness, oh God, begin to subdue them before all our pastors, before all our, all our sisters, everyone on this platform. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God this night. All the forces of darkness from the village, from the family cycle, from the paternal side, from the maternal side, all those evil personality, all the wickedness, all the wicked, all the all activities of the wicked. We want to pray and say, God, let them be subdued by your mighty power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying, my brother? Are you praying, my sister? Let's open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. Let's ask God and say, God, oh Lord, arise in the power of your spiritual God. Let all the forces of darkness be, be, let them begin to bow. Nations of darkness, nations of witches and wizards, nations of familiar spirit, nations of all those agents of darkness, all those evil personality. Let them begin to bow. Subdue them before us, so God. Overthrow every satanic stronghold, every demonic activity, of God. Let them be overthrown by your mighty power. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father once again, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh dear God, I'm asking, oh Lord, we paralyze all the works of darkness tonight in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 He said to open before him the two lead gates. Remember the word of the Lord. He said, I will open and no man can shut it. We want to pray for all our pastors and all our sisters on this platform. Many of them have been asking God for one need or the other in their lives. Some are looking up unto God for financial provision, particularly now that the students will be resuming any moment from now, that's in September. And some of them, we don't want anybody on this platform to be financially stranded. We don't want any of our pastors to be financially uh, stranded. We don't want any of our sisters to be financially stranded. We want to ask God and say, Lord, open before us, oh God, the two lead gates. We say you are going to open the, the, the door and no man can shut it. That God will open the door of provision. Open the door of abundance unto everyone. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. He said, but my God shall supply all our need financially. God shall supply all our need materially. Open your mouth and ask God and say, God, and all our family represented here, oh God, begin to open the door, my Father God, that no man will be able to shut it, oh God. The door of provision, the door of financial provision, my Father, material provision, oh God. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father once again, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Our pastor told us the other day, he said, we are looking on to God between now and December that many of our pastors, many of our sisters, many of our leaders, the Lord will empower us financially and we begin to become, a, we become millionaires in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I believe it because I know it shall be even as it was told us in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to the Lord of heaven. Lord, open our eyes, oh God, to what we need to do so that this promise will come to pass in our lives. Shall we open our mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord? The Lord will so prosper us. In fact, we'll, be, we'll give with ease. We'll give with joy, not by compulsion. We'll give freely. We'll give Carefully open your mouth and begin to ask God and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, with you all things are possible. There is nothing you cannot do, my God. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God that every pastor on this platform, oh God, every every of our sister on this platform, oh God, mighty God begin to empower us, my Father, financially, oh God, and take us higher, my God and my Father, that everyone, oh God, that I represent. Here we begin with you turn us around, turn everything around. We become millionaires, oh God, mighty God. I'm asking my father, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, including our sisters, oh God, reach out unto everyone 
of us, O God. Open our eyes to opportunities, Jehovah. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father, you will so do it, O God, in every life. Give us testimony, O God. Between now and December this year, we want to come back and give testimony of your wonders in our lives, O God. Almighty God, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 He said, I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. You know, when you look at the journey of our lives at times, it's as if it's just like an undulating terrain, zigzag. Zigzag. It's not smooth at all. Today you are up, tomorrow you are down. Today you are up, tomorrow you are down in the valley. And it tastes as if everything is just challenges upon challenges. We want to pray that God will make all the crook places to become straight. He will smooth in all everything in our lives. All the rough edges in every life, everything becomes smoothened in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God this hour. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, Lord, all the crooked places begin to straighten them up, begin to smoothen everything, oh Lord, in our lives, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth and ask God and say, Father, our eyes upon you, God, the King of glory. My father was again, oh God, that will make all the crooked places, oh God, to become straight, smoothen everything, oh God, even concerning the journey of our life, my father, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Uh, before I round off, I want us to look at that verse 3 very, very closely. That verse 3 it appears as if it's a verse that many of times, many of times, many of us will always overlook as if it's not meant for us. But I want to tell us that it is meant for us. Look at the promise of God in this place. He said, and I will give you the treasures of darkness. What are the treasures of darkness? Some things that are hidden. Look at before uh, Jabez became, you know, a, a most honorable. The Bible says he was more honorable than all his brethren. Before he could get to that place, you know, he had to pray and, you know, he saw the face of God, and eventually God opened the door. The Lord blessed him, and he became so much honored, so much honored, even above his brethren who have gone before him, because he was, God was able to give him the treasures of darkness. He was able to release unto him the treasures of darkness. There are some treasures that the enemy has been holding onto that belongs to us. And he, wouldn't want, he doesn't want us to get to that thing. We want to pray tonight unanimously. We want to pray tonight with one voice and say, God, Lord, release unto us tonight. There are treasures of darkness. Even the hidden riches or secret places begin to read, begin to release it unto all of us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. Remember, our pastor said we are not orphans. We have a father that answers prayer. We have a God that answers prayer. And if there is a man that I can pray, then there is a God in heaven that answers. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let's ask God and say, Father, once again, oh Lord, Lord, release unto us the treasures of darkness. Release them unto us, oh God. Release unto us, my Father, once again, oh God, the treasures of darkness. And even the evil riches, oh God, of secret places, mighty God, I'm asking my Father, begin to release it unto us tonight, oh God. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father, once again, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, man. Heavenly Father, God, I'm asking, oh God, asking your blessing to flow upon everyone. All the garment of begging, all the garment of living like a beggar. Oh God, I'm asking my Father, will tear that garment out of every life in the name of Jesus Christ? Because we have a God in heaven who cares for us. Oh God, the Lord, our shepherd, and we shall not want, we shall not lack. Oh God, begin to release unto us, oh God, that hidden, that treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places, begin to release it unto us tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, gladden our heart, oh God. 
Almighty God, I'm asking rejoice every soul that God, by the blessing of God that will come upon us, Lord, our heart will surely rejoice in you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We want to ask God before I run off. We want to pray for our pastor, Pastor Matthew, that God has been using to sponsor this program, this online prayer meeting. We know that it's not easy financially. So we want to pray for him and say, God, continue to replenish him. Continue to provide, to be able to meet all the needs. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray? All is our desire. The Almighty God will grant unto him in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord tonight. Let's cry to God. Let's call upon the Lord and say, God, your servant that you have been using, Pastor Matthew, Almighty God, I'm asking, oh Lord, you begin to provide for him abundantly, oh God, to meet all the needs in the name of Jesus Christ. He will not run dry. In the name of Jesus Christ, whether spiritually, financially, materially, it will not run dry in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I want to quickly hand over to Pastor Victor now. Pastor Victor Ali, please, if you are there. Okay, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Thank you, Pastor Shego. Bless God. I, though I joined the meeting very late, uh, because uh, normally every Sunday we normally have uh, a Zoom prayer meeting. I have to excuse myself. That is uh, from eight to nine thirty. Uh, today meeting was the the load work was much because of the GCK, and if I'm not in that meeting. I will not be able to give reports to my group. All over Lagos, we do have meetings and we have to send the report to the GS. So if I'm if I if I'm not in that meeting, my group will be lacking. So I have to give a report before the moment I give the report and I log out. That is why I joined the meeting very late. Um I told the pastor that late today that uh, he should give me five minutes before I come past the match. You see, you see. I noticed, I noticed that during our GCK, mm. we stopped our program. As I try to find out things, the program should not be stopped. In fact, this GCK is a time that we need to be praying for GCK. I was discussing with some pastors today, and I reasoned with them. I, I discussed with them. I said, come, GCK. We should we should embark on prayer during GCK. That is a time to pray and intercede for the success of that program, for salvation, for liberation, for deliverance. Jesus, the miracle worker. And I, I remember very well. There are some platforms that during GCK they are still holding they are still holding Zoom meetings. They are holding Zoom meetings, and they intercede for GCK. So to me, I don't see anything wrong. For we, uh, ABGCK is coming, we suspended because of GCK. What is the meaning of that? I want to part of the church. So please, I want. I have discussed with some of our pastors. Please, we want to res we want to reshuffle our program now. GCK program is holy online prayer meeting, and the prayer we center on GCK. If we spend forty five minutes on GCK. Normally, GCK ended by nine, five minutes to nine. That is the that is the program of the church. By nine, everything is over. Prayer on Thursday kick off by ten p.m. Ten p.m. to ten to to ten forty-five. On Saturday, the same thing again. On Saturday, the prayer will keep on by ten p.m. to to uh, ten forty-five. Okay, so we need to embark to this prayer because we are not uh, vacating GCK coming with vacates and we resume. It's not right. It's not right. It's the time for us to be interceding for GCK. We pray for GCK. And the prayer is for the success of GCK. So please, I'm saying this for the for pastor prayer meeting because uh, if, okay, we have ministers conferences today. 
and I was expecting the brother to call me. Let's let's uh, talk what together. I did not call. You see, I was asking one of our pastor. I said, "Were you in your group? Were you at the minister's conference?" He said, "No. Prayer meeting, you are not there. Uh, okay. Meeting uh, the conference, you are not there." So we, we, are, we are taking all these uh, excuses and things are falling apart. Number two, most of the people in this prayer online, they are not from people life. It's only a few of us that are from people life, the ministers. But some of them that attend are not people life. So if we are saying GTK is coming, we suspend the prayer. Conference, we suspend prayer. I think it's not right. Because if the GTK call, this is the actual time we should embark in praying for the GTK. As the GS is ministering, after the GCK, we come back by 10 to 10.45. 10 